You've likely heard plenty of comparisons between the coronavirus and the flu. That may be true in the worst ways, but there are lots of factors that separate the two. First, the symptoms. The flu has a long list, including fever, exhaustion, body aches, dry cough, chills, and runny nose, all of which could also be symptoms for COVID-19. But one thing that sets it apart, shortness of breath. This is because the virus can damage the lungs, causing that dry cough. If someone has the flu, these symptoms might show up suddenly. With COVID-19, it could take up to two weeks for someone to show symptoms. Within that time frame, someone could infect dozens of people. Both can be spread person to person through droplets, like sneezing or coughing. But COVID-19 could also be airborne, living in the air or on surfaces for hours. How contagious is it? Someone with the flu might infect one or two people they come into contact with. Someone with COVID-19 can pass the virus on to an average of three people. The spread rate is faster because many people could have COVID-19 without ever showing symptoms. And the testing capabilities are different too. Getting tested for the flu is as easy as walking into a health clinic. Getting the results can be as quick as 15 minutes. But getting tested for COVID-19 is not as easy or as fast. In San Antonio, at least, only certain people who are showing symptoms are eligible, and they must have a doctor's note. And it takes an average of two days to get results. The flu has become a household name that is both deadly and fairly easy to overcome, but the virus was once a pandemic itself. When it first surfaced in 1918, one third of the world's population got sick. 50 million people died across the globe, more than 675,000 in the United States. And COVID-19 is on track to be just as deadly, if not worse. The flu has been around for over 100 years, and even with a vaccine, 0.1% of people infected die from it. There is not currently a vaccine for COVID-19, and just looking at the cases so far, the mortality rate ranges from 1 to 4%. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 16,000 people died from the flu in 2019, and the virus comes back every year. That's exactly what public health experts are trying to prevent with COVID-19, a century of sickness and billions of deaths.